Edmund's kind of day. It's an Edmund's kind of day. Welcome to another awesome Edmund's kind of day. Welcome to Edmunds Today. We're so glad you stopped by to see what your neighbors are talking about. Enjoy the show. Dewar, Meeks, and Ekram CPAs. Conveniently located in downtown Edmunds and Marysville for all of your individual and business year-end tax planning and preparation needs. Call Mike today for a free 30-minute consult or visit them online at DMECPA. Com. And we're back with My Edmonds News TV. I'm your host, Teresa Whipple, and here in the studio today we have Sergeant Mark Marsh from the Edmonds Police Department. Welcome. Well, thank you. It's nice to be here. Let's talk a little bit about um, this website that I think a lot of folks in Edmonds may not know about. It's called CanYouID.me. Yes. And tell me more about that, what that exactly is. Well, it's a website that law enforcement agencies can subscribe to in which they can put up, uh, usually it's video stills or sketches of people that we're trying to identify and locate so that we can hold them accountable. And we're going to start with one that I thought was really interesting. Um, you know, just as a, a spoiler alert, the folks that we're going to be looking at have actually been caught, um, my understanding. But I thought the history behind this group of folks and the crime they were committing was interesting. So what can you tell us about the one that's, that's on the screen now? Of this, this, uh, tell me about it. Well, these three ladies that you can see here, uh, this photo was taken at Burlington Coat Factory, which is in the 24100 block of Highway 99 in Edmonds. And they came in and as you can see, they have a small child in the shopping cart. Uh, that actually more often than not is used as a cover when they go in to steal things. And they'll go in and put things in and around the baby, down their coats. You can see they're wearing rather large coats. Mm -hmm. And they'll shop around. Um, a lot of times they'll bring in wire cutters to cut off any uh, security tags that are on the clothing and then typically they'll have somebody waiting outside in a car they'll run right past the sensors out front throw the items into the car and off they go um, now these three ladies were part of an organized retail theft ring that we worked in conjunction with Seattle PD uh, they have been identified and are being charged through Seattle because they had multiple cases on them so let's take a look at the next photo that we have this young lady and her male accomplice uh, went into an apartment building, a secured parking building uh, up along Highway 99 just off of 76th Avenue. And they got into the storage area and they went to the different storage areas and using bolt cutters, which you'll see her. her I, very, love, I love that, by the way. It's yeah, just like very, caught in the act. Very photogenic. <laughs> uh, but they went through, and once they got into the secured area for the storage units, they went by unit by unit, taking the locks off and stealing the items. And we have not identified either one of them yet, so we're very interested in any information anybody can provide. All right, and then next on the list. Ah. This gentleman looks rather everyday to us. Uh, however, his bag, you can see, is empty. This was at, I believe, the Burlington Coat Factory, and he went in, stuffed his bag full of clothes, and then ran out to his car and drove off. So this is another example of uh, retail theft, and on the face of it, it might not seem like much, but uh, granted, since he obviously came prepared, this was not his first go around with this type of uh, crime. Yeah, wow, he just looks like a guy who's ready to go on vacation. Yep. Yeah, okay, what's next on that? Oh, okay. Now this, as you can see, is a sketch that we had uh, drawn up by the sketch artist for the sheriff's office. And this was provided by a witness to a residential burglary. Saw a young man walking around this house. And this was in North Edmonds, I believe. And uh, just looked every day, as you can see, the, you know, looks rather innocent looking. Yeah. Um, leave it to beaverish, as yeah, right. somebody called him. And, uh, but unfortunately, you know, after 
the people got home that the person the neighbor saw this person at uh, you know they found that the house had been broken into and several items taken cash jewelry small things that he could carry so we're trying to identify this young man and uh, any help you know the public can provide would be great okay very good well along the lines of as long as we're talking about burglaries and home burglaries um, I am sure that as we're getting close to the summer months and people are starting to think about their vacations what kinds of tips could you offer to Edmonds residents about the things they should be thinking about whether they're going away just for the day to work or going away for a few days on vacation well one of the most important things and a lot of people don't realize this is to tell your neighbors you know get to know them you know, tell the ones that you trust, but let them know you're going to be gone. And if they see anybody around your house that isn't supposed to be there, to call 911. Even if it turns out being a relative, um, a son, daughter, it, we would much rather come out and check it than, than find out later that it was something else. Um, and also be aware when the weather gets warm, uh, you know, it's very tempting to leave windows open, doors cracked. However, you know, we have to understand that there are people out there that will take advantage of those open windows and doors and go in and steal you blind. Yeah. Um, you know, especially if you're on an extended vacation, cancel your newspaper, cancel your mail, get light timers. Um, it's even important you could put a light timer on a radio or a TV so that it sounds like somebody's home. And even you could even have timers go on in different rooms of the house so that it's not the same one every time. And it certainly, like I said, it doesn't hurt to have a neighbor go by, walk around your house, water the plants, whatever that may be. But, you know, anytime you're gone and you leave, let newspapers pile up or mail accumulate, then, then that is putting out a welcome mat for a burglar. Well, that's really good advice. And I, I want to make sure we remind people what the uh, phone number is, if they see any of these folks on the uh, computer screen that we just saw, what they can call. There's a tip line that they can call if they have any information on any criminals that they might have identified through that. Yes, our tip line for the Edmonds Police Department is 425-771-0212. Very good. And also, um, just a reminder that if you want to go to that website that we had uh, shown those photos from. It is canuid.me. Um, there are photos from Edmonds crimes and from crimes throughout the region. So if you've, uh, you know, you're curious about something, it's it's not a bad idea to check it out. Sergeant Marsh, Mark Marsh, thank you so much for being here today. We really do appreciate it. You're very welcome. It's my pleasure. Thank you. And we will be back after a word from our sponsor. Uh, stay tuned for more from My Edmonds News TV. Hi, I'm Jeanette Scherner with Edmonds Happy Hour on My Edmonds News. Do you need a drink? Coming up today, we have Tim Morris of E. Pulo making his signature cocktail for us. Stay tuned. Clog drain? Other plumbing problems? Call Action Jackson Plumbing for 24-hour service. Owned by a lifetime Edmonds resident and Edmonds Woodway grad, Action Jackson is the drain cleaning specialist. They can unclog most internal drains for only $99 plus tax. Call 425-877-5601 or visit actionjacksonplumbing.com. Hi, I'm Jeanette Turner with Edmonds Happy Hour, and today we are with Tim Morris of E. Pulo, and Tim is going to mix up a special drink for us today. Hello. Yes, we are going to do our classic raindrop. It's our signature cocktail that we've had on the menu since we opened. It's a vodka-based, it, and it ends up looking kind of like rain, and it's blue, and it's beautiful, but it tastes fantastic. Well, I can't wait to see it. And while you're mixing it up, I'm going to ask you about the Rachel Ray show that you were on. That was so fun. Yeah, about three years ago, I got uh, entered into a contest by my sister-in-law and ended up uh, being sent to New York. And then we flew down to Florida, boarded a Disney cruise ship, and sailed th through the... Um, Caribbean and had different contests, one of which I won and ended up being able to take my family on a cruise to the Caribbean on the Disney line. Wow. And then, um, yeah, it was just different challenges. We ended up back in New York uh, three times for recordings. And then um, 
So I did not win. I got kicked off third, I think. Do you remember what the dish was that you made that won that first time? Um, It was an overall contest. So you were in the ship's galley, which was unbelievable. And you had to do, we had different contests throughout the day. So we had had to make uh, crepes. And then we had to make pasta, and we had to make cocktails. And there was a series of five, and so you got points for each one, and I ended up being the overall winner for the day. Wow. So that's what won me the cruise. Oh, my gosh. How fantastic. Okay. We'll mix this guy up a little bit. Oh, this drink is so good. And like I said, this has been on our menu since we opened, and people love it. And what year did you open? We opened five, five years ago this fall. So 1998, Two- wasn't it? 2000. I mean, 2008. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, it ends up looking a little blue, like the bluest skies you ever seen are in Seattle type thing. Oh. There you are. It's lovely. May I have a sip, please? You do, please. Mm, wow. That's fantastic. <laughs> well, thank you, Tim. We yeah. really enjoyed meeting you and having your signature drink. Well, thank you. And come to Ipulo and have a raindrop. Dewar, Meeks, and Ekram CPAs. Conveniently located in downtown Edmonds and Marysville for all of your individual and business year-end tax planning and preparation needs. Call Mike today for a free 30-minute consult or visit them online at dmecpa.com. Welcome back to My Edmonds News TV. I'm your host, Teresa Whipple, and we're so glad that you joined us today. In the studio with me today, I have Jen Marks. Welcome, Jen. Jen is a mom of two. She has lived in Edmonds for a while, and she has some great advice for parents, grandparents, who are looking for things to do with their kids or grandkids. Let's get started. First thing you need to know is there's a ton of stuff to do for kids. There's just an amazing amount of stuff to do. So five years ago, I was desperate, new mother of two kids, I had a new baby, and uh, my three, then three-year-old had lost his mind, and I, I just really didn't know where to go. So I made <laughs> my lifeline fo- phone call to Debbie at Edmonds Parks and Recreation. I said, I have a three-and-a-half-year-old boy, <laughs> help me. And she hooked us up with um, Camp Good Time, which still runs through the city of Edmonds. And uh, we made friends we still have now. He did, and so did I. And so that was really, I'd say Edmonds Park and Recreation is the first place to go. They have everything from circus classes, kinder music, mini camps, and summer camps. Very good. Um, And now there is a go-to resource. I think when my kids were small, I called it the Bible. But tell us more <laughs> about that. So this is the craze. Right. And uh, there are a couple of different ways to get the craze. Um, as, as soon as you sign up for a class in Edmonds, this is coming to your house, whether you like it or not. You can also pick it up at uh, the Francis Anderson Center, 700 Main Street. And uh, you can walk right in, get yourself a free copy. You can also get it online at crazedigital.org or edmondscamps.org, which is just all the camp information in one place. Okay. And, you know, the other thing is, is that uh, I think for most people they think of the Edmonds Fountain as being uh, the signature place where everybody knows we'll meet you at the fountain, we'll go to the Starbucks at the fountain, but you were telling me that there is something special about the fountain for parents. What is that? Well, I consider it a kid hotspot. It uh, has the one-two punch of Kinder Britches and uh, Terry's Toy Box. So I only found out about Kinder Britches as uh, when I had my oldest son at what was then Stevens Hospital. My labor nurse brought me some gifts, <laughs> magical, adorable gifts that I'm not really sure where they, you know, where do you get these things? And they were from Kinder Britches. And so this blanket that he got obsessed with, she then reordered for us and reordered for us special. Um, Kinder Britches is a great place to get a baby carrier, those little slip-ons for their feet, a rain jacket, um, a unique birthday gift. You go right around the corner to Terry's Toy Box. Um, Terry has been an incredible resource for me. So I go in and say, I'm going on a flight. Help me. She's got four little gadgets. Um, I don't have any daughters. So I'll say, I'm going to a birthday party for a little girl. Help me. And so, you know, what age? Eight-year-old girl. Here's four different options to go. So 
This is a really great place if you're a, a parent looking for a birthday present or the perfect gift, Fifth and Main. Right, and, and what's really great too is that it is local and of course we're all about shopping local and yeah. promoting local businesses. So whenever we can, we try to, we try to make sure that we do that. Um, now, say that you are a brand new parent period. You've just had a baby, mom or dad. Um, there are a lot of great resources I know in Edmonds for them. What would you suggest? Uh, in Edmonds, there are a lot of really great resources for new parents. First is the uh, Edmonds Moms Facebook page. And uh, you can just type in Edmonds Mom in the search bar on Facebook and you can ask questions from gear to personal questions yeah. <laughs> to oh, what is this on my kid to um, even when's the next school day off and you just have a resource of people uh, in the area ready to help. There are also two different um, support groups for new parents um, in Edmonds. The New Moms and Baby Support Group meets at Swedish Edmonds on Fridays at 11 and that's more of a you know what diaper are you using, what park do you go to, is your baby sleeping through the night kind of thing. And then there's an Adjusting to Parenthood a postpartum emotional support group and this is held at uh, Edmonds Family Medicine. It's the first third and fifth Tuesday uh, there at Edmonds Family Medicine and this is more of a how are you feeling you know this is normal we're all feeling like this too and um, it's amazing that these are really you know all in one small spot but the resources for new parents in Edmonds is sort of staggering. You know something that you have written on uh, Edmonds kind of play about on more than one occasion is what happens if your, your child is thinking that maybe they might be interested in sports, not really sure, maybe not all that athletic, but they want to try something out. Where, where do parents start with that? You know, talk about scary, right? Like where I see all these soccer pictures on Facebook, where did they sign up for that? Um, right here in Edmonds, we have pretty much any sport you can think of. I'd say the first place to go is the Snow King Youth Club. I mean, you can get anything from spring and fall soccer, flag football, t-ball for the really little ones mm -hmm. before they get ready for Pacific Little League, which we have in Edmonds too. Uh, also spring and winter um, basketball and little kid baseball. And you can register at skyc.net and then you can go to Pacific Little League, which does have t-ball, uh, baseball, and softball for a really wide range of kids. And of course, you can always go back to uh, Edmonds Park and Recreation. During the summer, they not only have, you know, kids love soccer, they have UK Elite Soccer, a Skyhawk Sports Camp, and gymnastics, so it runs the gamut, and uh, pretty much Francis Anderson is the, is the epicenter. <laughs> Great tips. Thanks so much, Jen. And if you want to learn more about ideas that Jen has, be sure to check out myedmondsnews.com on Thursdays. That's when her Edmonds kind of play column runs. She also has her own blog called snackmomsyndrome.com and I have to say it is one of the funniest things I've ever read. So check that out as well. We'll be back soon after this word from our sponsor. Dewar, Meeks, and Ekram CPAs. Conveniently located in downtown Edmonds and Marysville for all of your individual and business year-end tax planning and preparation needs. Call Mike today for a free 30-minute consult or visit them online at dmecpa.com. Hello and welcome to the Artfully Edmonds segment of My Edmonds News TV. Today we have as our guest Denise Cole, owner of Cole Gallery. And Denise, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me here. Would you like to tell our viewers a little bit about Cole Gallery? Sure. Um, we opened as a gallery in 2006. Um, my vision for the gallery when I opened was to have a national class gallery um, in Edmonds. I had been a painter for many years and I knew all of these amazing artists that I would meet at festivals, at Edmonds festivals or place, you know, out of state festivals. And um, I knew that um, I could represent them and bring what they had to the Edmonds community and I knew that it would be well received and um, I just wanted to share these amazing artists with our with with our community. What can the first time visitor find in the range of media at the gallery? Well we have um, we have a range of we have painting, we have sculpture, we actually have um, some a small amount of um, really cool art jewelry. Um, and as far as the media in our painters, we have watercolor, pastel, acrylic, oil, 
Um, we even have an oil painter who does finger painting, which is kind of exciting. And um, we have bronze sculptors, mm -hmm. ceramic sculptors, and um, yeah, that's about it. I did notice some jewelry, though. Mm -hmm. That's a wonderful selection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have artisan jewelers, um, and all of the artists are definitely from the Pacific Northwest, mm -hmm. from Washington and Oregon. Um, and as far as, you know, the, the painters that we have, and even the sculpture, we range uh, from Impressionism to Realism. Uh, when we first opened in 2006, I thought, well, I'm going to have abstract, I'm going to have contemporary, I'm going to have this and that. And um, I learned uh, pretty quickly that I kind of needed to dial that in. I needed to figure out what we did best. And that's how we ended up with the artists we have now. We have about 50 artists. And what a lot of people don't know is that even some of them that are local are Almost all of our artists are nationally known, and we have artists that have, um, they compete in art competitions nationally, internationally, locally, and yet we try to stay in a price range that's, that's really collectible, where people, um, no matter what their you know, economic level, they can afford to buy art, take it home. What if someone were interested in something that I just noticed Cole Gallery has as a, their feature, Art classes. Yeah, that, that was like um, one of the things is when I started the gallery in 2006, I had been an art teacher for several, several years. I had taught watercolor. And um, I wanted to figure out a way to really connect people in the community with the artists. Um, because I knew these artists. Mm -hmm. I knew how wonderful they were. And I sure. was always taking, continuing, as I still do, to take classes from different artists in the study. And I wanted to make that available at all levels um, for students, whether they have absolutely no experience or whether they've um, been painting for years. And so my idea was to have our gallery artists come in and do everything from um, weekend workshops, two or three or four day workshops, mm -hmm. to some classes are weekly in the afternoon or the evening. We have these really fun classes called Try It, where people um, come in, we serve them wine and hors d'oeuvres, um, we provide the supplies, and everybody leaves with a little painting. And seriously, those classes are for people who have no experience. I get these people, and they're so precious, they come in and they're like, I've always wanted to do this, but I'm really a beginner. Is it okay if I, you know, sign up? And I just encourage them. We want people to um, discover the artist within them and that really have like fun. fun. When are the triad classes? I'm interested in that myself. The triad classes are, are on Friday nights, and we have them on our studio. Um, our, we call it Cole Art Studio. Okay. We actually created um, kind of a, an identity because the workshop program was, was really robust, and we have classes going on all the time. So at our Cole Art Studio website, um, coleartstudio.com, you can actually look at the classes and sign up for them, and, and, um, and they are a, a blast. That sounds so delightful. Mm -hmm. Day, thank you, Denise, so much for coming well, and telling us about Cole Gallery. And viewers, Cole Gallery is located on Fifth Avenue in Edmonds, and I know that you've inspired people to come by, take classes, and thank you. Well, for thanks being a so guest. much, and, and I really appreciate being able to be here. It's an Edmonds kind of day. It's an Edmonds kind of day. Welcome to another awesome Edmonds kind of day.